Are there any additional safety issues to using copper bullets that might differ to what I'm used to? The biggest one is the greater variation between first, second and third generation bullets and their shot start initiation pressures. You can't just go and look at a loading manual and say they used XYZ brand jacket of lead and that's what I'm going to use as my load recommendations because that will get you into a whole world of trouble. Each of the manufacturers has their own reloading manuals geared around their own product and there's a really good reason for it. They've done the homework, it's well matched. If you follow the, those instructions you're going to get a better outcome. If you use a general reloading manual, you could end up with major problems simply because first generation copper projectiles have a much higher shot start initiation pressure. Third generation projectiles have almost the same shot start initiation pressure, but they have a different case capacity, which means you're probably likely to use a faster powder. So it's really important to follow the manufacturer's recommendations for load. The other safety issue that tends to come up as a bit of a furphy is that because copper doesn't lose its weight, that it's more likely to perhaps ricochet or something along those lines. And that's just absolute nonsense. And I can show you some examples if you like. And just to demonstrate that no, they don't ricochet. This is a 416 target projectile, not a hunting projectile that hit a steel plate. That's a 338 that expanded to 50 millimeters. Bisloy target. All of these projectiles were found at the bottom of the target. They just hit the target and dropped to the ground. They are less likely to ricochet. And this example here that looks like a jester's crown, this one struck uh, a mild steel plate the center of that projectile alloyed itself to the steel plate with the remnant that stuck out of the steel plate. Now, there is no issue whatsoever regarding additional safety, but it is a, a very valid question to ask if you don't know. The only other thing uh, that is really important uh, to understand is that all the basic safety um, issues regarding Backstop, selecting your target and all the rest of it, apply to copper bullets as they would any other projectile when taking a shot. You must be aware of the basic safety principles regardless of what you use.